Hey everybody, we are on day six of the mini boot camp for organizing your pictures in 2023. We're close to the end, I'm so glad you're sticking with me. Definitely make sure you've got your guide to take notes today because I'm sharing some great resources that I think might help you. I know a lot of people follow you know, the videos that I've posted but I'm just one person and you're getting my perspective. There are many great photo organizers out there. I thought I would share some of these resources with you in case you just want someone else's perspective. And I get it. There are systems that you know a lot of different people have developed that might work better for you. So let's dive in to these other resources. The first I want to tell you about is Organizing Photos by the Swedish organizer. This is Caroline Gunter's website and I love it. She has many in-depth articles about software and digital pictures and, and she has her own set of courses too. She's great and she also has expertise in genealogy and has so much to share. I highly recommend you check out her resources. The next resource I want to tell you about is the Photo Managers. This organization is great. They have hundreds of members who uh, organize photos. So if you're actually looking for a photo organizer in your area, you can check the, the directory out there. In addition, they offer classes. So I invite you to check their information out. The founder, Kathy Nelson, has a book on Amazon that might be helpful for you as well. The third resource I want to tell you about is a fellow Midwesterner. This is Adam Pratt. I think he's from Chicago, from Illinois for sure. He is a, uh, has a background from the tech industry and I think he has really in-depth knowledge, especially of Lightroom. He's got a system that might be of interest to you too. So check out his website. He also has a brand new book out on Amazon that might be helpful for you too. Another company that has been around as long as we have been, Pixology was founded in like 2013. I actually know it was founded in 2013. Everpresent has been around, I think, almost as long or maybe even a little longer. They're out on the East Coast and their blog has many articles on, you know, digital media, digitizing media, organizing photos. They have a large team of people that um, go out and serve their communities. And I think they're really, um, you know, admirable company, you know, saving memories just like we are here at Pixology. And the last resource I want to tell you about is Surround Us. Now, I haven't actually met any of the staff from here, but I've heard really good things about this company. And when I was on their website, I can see they have resources to share as well. I think they focus more on the digital side and tech side. They may be uh, a resource that can you know, inspire you in different ways than I've been able to. So those are five resources and actually there's so much more in there. My takeaways today is definitely go check some of that out. They've got downloads in a lot of cases and you might find something that uh, is just a little bit of a different system that helps you save your photos. If you do, I'd love to hear about it because um, you know, when you share things with me, I can pass that on to other people. And we all have to stick together in this photo organizing field. Even though we've been around for, you know, 10 years and more, not enough people know that they need to start saving their pictures today before it's too late. So that is today's lesson. I do want to remind you that I am looking to interview 50 people for um, my photo research calls. And I just want to talk to people who have challenges and I want to learn about them because that really does help me help more people in uh, saving their memories. That's it for today. Thank you so much for being with me. We are on the home stretch. Tomorrow is day seven and we're going to talk about the most important habit of all. We'll see you tomorrow.